All right, in problem number 33, we'd like to find dy dx, or y equals secant x plus tangent x, quantity raised to the fifth. So uh, again, we want to use the chain rule. And whenever I see a situation in which I want to use the chain rule, what I'm looking for is, is there an outermost function that's happening? Or what is it that happens last? And if I were entering this thing into my calculator, I'd do sine of x plus tangent of x first. And then the very last thing I would do is I would raise that quantity to the fifth power. So the fifth power is the thing that's happening last. So I've got something raised to the fifth power. So something raised to the fifth. So what's the derivative of something to the fifth power? Well, by the power rule, it'd be five somethings to the fourth power. And that's exactly what I'm going to write down here. So the first thing I want to write down is if I think of this as just, this is something to the fifth. What's the derivative of something to the fifth? Well, it is five somethings. Just leave this alone. Secant x plus tangent x to the fourth. So the derivative of something to the fifth is five somethings to the fourth times the derivative of what was inside, or the something. Okay, what was that in this case? It was secant x plus tangent x. So what's the derivative of secant x plus tangent of x? Well, the derivative of secant of x is what? Secant x tangent x. And then I need to add on the derivative of tangent of x, which is secant squared of x. So let's see, review real quick what we did here. We had something raised to the fifth power. And we said, what's the derivative of something to the fifth? Well, it's five somethings to the fourth times the derivative of the something. And we get our answer.